Well, I must say, you must have an obsession when you go and do what I just did. Alright, today I purchased a tarantula for $60. Then I go to Pacatan's, my local craft store, and guess what I did? I went and bought plants that look real but are fake to help encourage climbing, making things nice and soft, and I will tell you something. These things are expensive, okay? This nine foot garland was outrageously priced, but you know what? This is worth it for my tarantulas because the way I'm gonna put this in their exhibits, it has these like chain link plastic pieces, so it will help them, you know, climb a little bit better, give them something more to anchor on and it'd be soft. I had to buy a new hot glue gun. You know, as tarantula people love our hot glue. I broke both of my other high high temp and low temp guns. I took them apart trying to fix them. Yeah, I completely like just singed the insides. So I went and bought another one. Got some, some glue sticks. So I have a project and a half coming. And just wait until you see what I've been doing to these enclosures. These enclosures are going to look very full. They're going to look very natural for the most part. And they're just going to be awesome. I love doing this. I'm a crafter by heart. It's just something I've always done. So what I like to do is they don't stay on these long stems because, yeah, that long piece, yeah, I don't think I have almost a foot in substrate in my tanks, but, 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 I will be taking these apart. I will be hot gluing to make sure nothing comes off and I will be building and structuring so you guys wait until I get that done all right I'll get this process rolling and I'll show you what I've been doing so this is what I have been doing with my arachnids tanks so trying to give them natural fills and this is my striped knee tarantula, one of my three, and he is hiding, and I just seen him hiding under something, but there's so much in here, I can't, I see, I see a leg. So he is right there. He really likes his tank. And then my rose hair, didn't really do much difference, just added a little bit of ivory on the top for her, so if she climbs, she has something to climb on. I encourage climbing. And then we have my mantis, which I'm waiting for her to drop an egg sack. I fed her three crickets last night, so hopefully she'll do that. Really nothing different in my Asian Forest Scorpions tank other than just a stick. And then we're going to go to my Emperor Scorpion. I haven't done anything more. That's how I've set it. He didn't do any more digging last night because there's no substrate in his bowl. And then here's my other juvenile striped knee tarantula, my blue color form. He's just got a lot of plants. He's underground. Typically, you can usually see him, but he must be all the way in the back. And then you have my a. first striped knee I've ever purchased. Well, second, correct myself. My juvenile is my first. And she really likes her enclosure now. She has a lot of different places to hide. You can see all the little feet marks. The bedding was flat, so all that shifting, and that's from her walking. And then in here, we have my... Aviculara, Aviculara, my male, the one that I'm overly concerned about. I finally got him to eat two nights ago. I had to physically put the feeder in his fangs. Then we have my gorgeous Carabina, which you can't really see. But he's behind his little flower. You can kind of see him, but not really. But I see him. And then in this one, I redid his tank completely. He's got a lot of things to climb on. More sticks. He's in his hide today, which he's been out a lot. And then in this one, I just added a little more ivory. So she's started building a web behind the ivory with the pink flowers, which is awesome. And then this one, I just added more plants for him to go under and up. And he's doing pretty good. There's my beauty, my curly hair. I love this guy. He's just so freaking fluffy. 
And then this one is my juvenile avicularia avicularia, which is a suspect female, I believe. The molt was too chewed up for me to do much. I need to clean it up. There's poop on the wall. I don't like that. So I just add another flower in there. He likes to go behind there. She, he, she, she, he, 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 he. So yeah, that's just what I've been doing. I haven't really been doing nothing extremely spectacular. Just been just doing what I do. So, so far, this is what I have. <laughs> and then in, in here is my beautiful, beautiful, I can't get a clear picture because of the glare, Mexican red rum that we named Christine. So that's where we're at.